Hello and welcome to the first edition of Eagles Web. This is our school's news program for all the happenings in the first quarter. We really started the 2014 to 15 school year on a roll. Changing teachers around made grade level hallways much easier for us middle schoolers. Most of the time we were in the right hallway, we just had the wrong room. It was also way easier for us to find our friends between classes. I'm sure the teachers love that. And with the traditional schedules that we have now, there are so many more opportunities to talk to our friends. But classes go so fast. We started the first week of school off with a magazine drive assembly. We sold magazines to earn prizes for money for the PTO. The PTO uses that money to buy supplementary items for our school. For example, the buy magazine subscriptions for the library and they sponsor assemblies for our school. Speaking of assemblies, we had a great assembly about preventing bullying with our guest, Mr. Brown. He compared bullying behaviors to Bao, Gaston, and the Beast from the Disney movie Beauty and the Beast. It really hit home with a lot of students. It really fit in with the bullying awareness, the prevention curriculum, and the sixth grade transition classes that they were learning. They finished their instructions on October 22nd with a union day that celebration throughout our school with the students and teachers all wearing orange to show against bullying. And now over to sports. At the beginning of the year, many sports seasons start too. September was the start of palms, girls basketball, boys soccer, golf club, and girls and boys cross country. Our Eagles made us proud to live in Lake Zurich. Boys soccer ended in fourth place in the conference tournament. The team voted 8th grade goalie Robert for MVP and Alec MIP. Wow, Lake Zurich is strong in soccer. And the two girls basketball teams also worked really hard this year. Mr. Brown and Ms. Chimino coached the teams to create team unity and a great season. The 6th and 7th grade team's record was 7-8 and eight, and the 8th grade team's record was 8-8 eight eight, with the 4th place finish in conference playoffs. The teams voted on MIP and MVP. The girls chosen for those honors were MVP Anna and Daniel, and M in the MIP were Carolina and Phoebe. And those Pompeys really supported the basketball teams. Coached by Ms. G Mrs. Golinski, the girls had really great dance routines, showcased their coordination, flexibility, and rhythm. They danced to the songs Maps by Maroon 5 and Black Widow by Iggy Elaisley. The team voted, and the MVP was Bella, and the MIP was Ellie. The 8th grade captains were Riley and Sabrina, and the 7th grade captains were Faye and Bella. If you're interested in Palms next year, tryouts are usually in May. The two non-cut sports in the fall also went out without a hitch. Golf Club Golf in Illinois with Mrs. Blankenau eight times. 21 students that participated walked miles and miles to work on the game. Many students improved their seniors. Cross country had a difficult season, with some practices and meets being held in Searing Key and others being held with the spectators in winter clothing. The girls' cross country team worked hard throughout the season battling the temperature. Many of the girls had massive time drops. Did you know that the traditional distance of a middle school cross country distance is two miles? The boys' cross country team had the hard hardships and the same massive time drops. No wonder our high school has such great teams. We send them some awesome runners. The teams voted, and the MVPs were Emily and Logan, and the MIPs, Caroline and Dean. Our sectional winners for the girls were Emily, Caroline, Marilia, Lydia, Hannah, Grace, and Heather. Our sectional winners for the boys were Logan, Adam, Ed, Tommy, Thomas, Dean, and John. One runner, Emily, made it to state. She finished 41st and made us so proud. We are watching boys basketball cheerleading with wrestling starting soon. Check on the announcements or with your friends to see if the new games are coming up. Now for some club updates. Along with sports, many clubs and activities have started at the beginning of the school year. The CSI club, SOAR, and Recycling Club have all begun. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Starting off, we have CSI. What does CSI even stand for? I always wondered that too. Let's see. Cooking, sewing, and imagination. Oh my. That's what CSI stands for, and boy do they express that. There's a lot of girls in this club, but there's a good number of boys too. Not just that, but a bunch of different grades are involved. It's a mixing pot of people looking for some fun. Whoever you are, you are sure to have a good time. Fun way to spend Wednesday's afternoons. A uh, person in the quotes. CSI meets for only one semester, but they get a lot done. This year they'll be teaming up with SOAP to make food for the homeless. Not 
only is this club fun, but it gives back to the community. Even if you've joined before, add it, yeah, they change up what they do, adding their own ideas in. Expressing creativity, getting deep. Sounds like a club you want to join? Well, if you're not already in it, you'll have to wait until next year. Why do you have too many clubs going out? Don't worry, CSI meets once a week and once a day until January. Not too much, but totally worth it. That sounds like fun, but I don't know if crafts are really my thing. What else is there? Well, how about getting environmentally friendly? One of the many clubs in Middle School South is Recycling Club. It's been here for t since 2004, 10 years. Usually, 24 kids sign up for the fun, but this year had a surprise for everyone. 37 kids. Now you're probably thinking, if Mr. Vossel, the head coach for Recycling Club, were to choose a other club, any other than Recycling Club, what would it be? Well, the answer is intramural basketball. So basically, everyone should join, should sign up and join for Recycling Club. Mr. Vossel believes in it. Wow, it seems like an awesome group. But is there anything else? Of course there is. We have lots more to join. They do, but the rest of the student bo body is pretty, pretty busy too. Besides these clubs, Hairspray, the Fall Musical, Silly Strings, and Jazz Band have began too. Wow, that's insane. But what I'm really interested in is the musical. I've heard lots of people singing catchy songs, and I want to know more. Well, here's some more information on Hairspray. Lights, camera, action. Hairspray is in full swing. The cast and crew working extra hard to make this Broadway production on our middle school stage. Hours and hours after school are being put into this great piece of musical history, and with Miss Harper and Heinemann at the ropes, hopefully it'll be a great success. We interviewed Allison W. and Meredith S., the student directors of this production. They're here every day until 4, maybe 4.30, and overall the cast have put in 60 hours of hard work, they say. The hard work has not gone to waste. It's been placed in songs like You Can't Stop the Beat, which is really popular among the group. We also interviewed Katie Kay, an 8th grader in the musical. She plays a sassy but fun Prudy Pingleton's daughter. The hardest part of the musical is memorizing my line, she says, and I have to agree. Musicals are usually an hour and 30 minutes long, and that's a long time, and a lot of lines. Now you've seen them front. Let's go behind the curtains and meet the crew. Stage crew is making tons of progressions, as 7th grader Alex says. A moving crew has to be my favorite, he comments. The musical needs different groups for different parts. We also interviewed 7th grader Jack Lab. It's just routine now, he says, and I put in many hours it's not even tiring of anymore. Overall, the stage crew has been moving, painting, building, and bringing out that pop every production needs. Hairspray is going to be a great success. There's so many great things going on at Middle School South. Keep watching for more exciting news from Eagles Web.